Generally speaking, people don't practice studies so much, but I think they're very, very important and it depends how you're practicing and what you get out of them. You have to ask yourself, why am I practicing this study and what is so special about it? So here we go. I'm going to play from the 15 easy exercises by Kohler, exercise number one. The reason I'm practicing this study is to have a look at this articulation, this one here. Because it comes quite often in the music that we play and it's good if you can be prepared and able to produce this articulation just when you need it. Now, the next thing that we have is this, the next articulation. articulations which you could practice and the octaves are very important too. Tafanel and Gobert. Now, where's my book? I'm sure you're all familiar with this little booklet here. And each page has got millions of notes. And we have to ask ourselves, how are we going to, how are we going to practice this stuff? Because just looking at it is daunting. Well, it's very easy. You just do a little bit of each exercise or choose some exercises where you think your technique is lacking and work on that. For example, if we start at the beginning, I don't like to do exercise number one because this F sharp fingering is gets in the way. So I prefer to begin with exercise two, which is this one. so forth but you 
all of the, the whole entire exercise because it's rather difficult and it's difficult for the ulnar sure for the lips you know you get tired doing it so therefore you need, you need to do maybe the first three or four lines like until you get the F. Then do it up an octave. Why do we do this? It's the same fingering, but the embouchure is different. This is where we practice the, the flexibility of the embouchure. There you have three different embouchures, one for the low register, one for the middle register and one for the top. Now, as it goes down, as you play in the low register, it's very critical to get a good embouchure. So that when you play in these registers, you do realize, you begin to realize and become aware of the fact that you need to change the embouchure for different registers. Look at this, for example. Here's, here's what happens in the scale of F. That's the first embouchure. Second. Third. So that when you play your scale, you do something like this. Okay. 